And here's the 3 0 from Zocan to Orvin. This one hit in the air to center field. Ray Carr is going to charge in. He'll make the catch. The runner goes. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's online, but just a little bit late as Pless slides under the tag from Kral. A good throw by Cole Raycar from center field, but it's an RBI sacrifice fly for Nick Orvin, and it's 1-0 Citadel here in the top of the third inning. Home plate up, making some adjustments. Here's the 2-1. Kral rips this one high and deep to right. Simonelli goes back, looks up, it's gone. A solo home run for Rob Kral, his eighth of the season, and the Cougars draw even. It's 1-1. One zero pitch hit in the air to center field, and that will duck down in shallow center field for a two-out single. And we'll go back to the top of the order for the Cougars as Jamie Holler gets on board. That'll bring up. Here's the 0-1 pitch in the dirt. Holler was going, and he'll be down at second safely. Here's the 1-0 pitch on the way. Gant chops this one to third base. Going to be a tough play for DeCurligan. The throw gets away from the first baseman, Mackert. Holler will come home to score. Gant's going to round second and head for third. There will be no throw. Well, the throw is late. And Marty Gant safe at third. And the Cougars take a 2-1 to one lead. 22 average. Here's the 1-2 on the way. Hits this one on the ground to first base. And booted by Justin Macker. Daniels has to hurry down the line. And he beats the throw. So Matt Leeds comes home to score. And the Cougars take a three to one lead as great hustle by Ryan Daniels. Mackert backed up by Josh Pless there. But Daniels still beat the throw. First pitch on the way. Rob Harding rips this one right back up the middle for a base hit. They're gonna send Ross around third. He will score easily. Into third is Cole Raycar and standing at first with an RBI single is Rob Harding as the Cougars extend their lead to three. It's now four to one. As you hear some thunder now off in the distance, I'm going to take a wild stab here and say that something registered on the lightning meter in the dugout. So we'll see what happens here. Obviously, in the bottom of the eighth inning, they're going to pull the teams off the field. And now here's the 2-2 two -two to holler. Hits this one in the air, high and deep to left field. Ladd going back at the edge of the wall, looks up. And it's gone. No, it went off the top of the wall. Coming home to score is Ray Carr. Harding scores as well. And at second with an RBI double is Jamie Holler. And it's six to one Cougars. So here's the one one pitch. Gant swings and hits this one down the left field line and that will drop in fast. cut off by the left fielder Ladd. Holler comes home to score and in at second with an RBI doubles Marty Gant. Seven one CFC is your score. Obviously doing a good job here. He'll try to get Joe Jackson to end the game. Jackson hits this one on the ground. Nice play by Rob Harding at second. Fires to first. And that will do it. Casey Lucchese works a perfect one, two, three, top of the ninth. And the Cougars are victorious tonight. Seven to one over their crosstown rivals, the Citadel Bulldogs. Your final line score for the Cougars. Seven runs on 10 hits and one error for the Citadel. One run on six hits. And three errors with the win. The Cougars move to 32 and 17 on the season. The Bulldogs fall to 20 and 28. So that will wrap things up tonight from Patriots Point.